Welcome to Pet Food Forum TV. I'm your host, Kristen Levine, here with Dr. Ryan Yamka, back again from last year. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. The first thing I wanted to ask you is to define novel ingredients. So novel ingredients would be considered ingredients that you don't see every day in traditional foods. Um, historically, you wouldn't have seen things like bison or salmon uh, in a pet food. And when they came out, they were novel protein sources. Um, now they're not so much novel because everybody's right. doing it. But now what you're starting to see is people use quinoa and some of the ancient grains, so they're novel. Um, some of the grain-free options would be considered as well. And then also whatever ingredient that might be delivering a specific nutritional benefit. Share with us some of, uh, some of the opportunities uh, associated with including novel ingredients. The, the biggest opportunity is point of differentiation. Um, in, in this day and age, you're starting to see a, a, a blurred marketplace when it comes to natural and grain-free because not, historically you saw it in uh, pet specialty. Now you see it in, in food, drug, and mass. Uh, so now it becomes really important is how am I going to differentiate my product and how do I keep that premiumization and, and drive the buyers into those uh, box stores. Um, so when you're doing that, you're, you, you might be looking for special needs, uh, you know, mobility, skin and coat, uh, more novel, unique ingredients, uh, a clean label. Um, and when I say clean label, it doesn't have any uh, words on there that you have to Google. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so Google free label. <laughs> Google free label um, and stuff you can pronounce.